Okay, just to recap here. Um, this is our search procedure here. This is our search bit of code. It will keep repeating, keep searching until our number that we use, this is our counter for our position, reaches the end of this list. So the length of this list, which at the moment is 1001. At the moment we don't have anything, any commands in for what to do if it finds a match on its search. Um, but we do have a command for if it doesn't find a match. So if it looks in position 1 and doesn't find a match, it will change index by 1, which makes index 2, and it will look in position 2, then position 3, then 4, then 5, until it finds a match. So what we need now is our code that goes in here, say what to do if you do find a match. So the first thing is we need a condition here for checking if what's in here matches what the user typed in when they answered this question and we save their answer as domain. So to do that you need if and we've saved the user's answer in this domain variable. So if domain and I'm going to use an operator for equals if domain equals and then the way of saying the text that's in this position in the table in the list is to say item drop that in we're looking in the domain names list so we'll use that there item and the way we know which item we're looking at in our domain names list is because we've saved it in this index variable which check goes up by one every time so the first time item index will be twitter.com the next time it will be littlebits.cc then it'll be thinkspace.co.uk and so on so that is our check that effectively means if what the user typed in matches what we're looking at in this table then we need to put a bit of code in that actually brings us back and says or outputs the IP address so we need to look at the position find a match and then look across to the same position in this table and bring back the IP. So we're going to have a look which is a say go back to data and we're going to have say and I'm going to use a join here to join some text so the IP address is space and in data, I just used the wrong one there, item index, because that tells us where we are in each list of IPs. So I will drop that into there instead of hello, and I'm going to make that display for 5 seconds instead, just so we can check it, actually 10 seconds so we can check it, and I'll drag and anchor that onto there. So if I test this now and I type in twitter.com, it should look down to position 1, find the match, look across to position 1 in IPs and bring me back this 199.16.156.70, just like a DNS server does when you type in a web address online. Let's give it a try and hope it works, shall we? Click the green flag, what are you looking for? You'll see that domain's been set to 0 and, hang on, index just drag that up there so you can see what position we're looking at and what we're looking for. Domain's been set to 0 and index has been set to 1. So Twitter, get the spelling right otherwise this won't work, twitter.com, let's go and it brings me back the matching IP address. Let's try another one, play.google.com, play So that should bring me back number 10, 173.194.34.129. Don't know why that didn't work, but let's try again, play.google.com. Hmm. Okay, let's try stopping it and running it again. And I'll keep testing it to see what happens and see if it works. But once you've got yours working and you've tested it, move on to the independent task. Off you go.